this time we will be cleaning White Rabbit House 77 Karut Lane. Alright, so just to let y'all know, I will not be reading the text that pops up this time, uh, but I will read this for you. Alright, Governor, uh, you must be Hujama Flip with the thingamajig and not a moment too soon, I'd say. That there, Mr. Rabbit's place with several holes uh, in it, what have no mind being there, uh, if you get me meaning. Unfortunately, he ain't around to tell you any more than that, and he's trying or trying, and he's or trying to apprehend a 20 foot girl what's disappeared into thin air. Good luck with that, I say. Anyways, you'd better get to it. I mean, there's an house cake in coat. Uh, no, no, I mean coated cake. And then uh, there's you with your great wet water cannon thingy, my Bob, Bill. I, Bill the lizard. I don't remember Bill from uh, Wonderland. Y'all remember a Bill from I'm sorry, but that's not cake. That's where he's been nasty and let moss grow there. Ow, I fell out of the doorway. <laughs> We got that old uh, wall and archway done. There's still some on that. All right, that's done. That's so wild looking how it is so nasty. Now that's grime cake smears flats, okay. Put you over here for now. Well, hello, Cheshire Cat. <laughs> That's what it was. We found the Cheshire Cat.
Now, I've tried to get that to come up several times, and it will not. How did I just get it to come up? Okay. Fireplace hood is It's at the very yeah, the some at the very back. How the hell are they expecting me to get that? Are they wanting it uh, this around the edge? Is that it? Okay, that was it. This place is liable to take a while. Colors in this are beautiful. I love it. I I love the Back to the Future DLC, but I think this might actually be uh, my favorite of the paid DLCs. Now, still my favorite all overall is still the um, Final Fantasy VII one. Speaking of which, my game of the year so far still is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. By far the best game out of the year. You would, I know a lot of people are saying, but Michael, you love Dragon's Dogma 2 so much. One word. Since it's, I guess, technically one word. It might be two words. One term. Dragon's Plague. Once you beat the game with the, with the true ending, apparently, and I didn't think it was supposed to be this way, but you can't get rid of Dragon's Plague. You literally cannot get rid of it. Uh, I have tried everything it used to work nothing works now 
They claim your pawn can only get Dragon's Plague once, and that's not true either. Say that once you cure them, they can never get it again, but 100% not true. Poor Miss Ellie had it about a hundred times, I think. She had, uh, I don't know if it's where people that were playing just did not like throw her out and let let me heal her or what but i ended up deleting the game because of it um honestly i i just could not deal with it uh not being able to i didn't want to deal with it not being able to um sleep in the game at all cause of it so and like i said it's only once you finish the game with it with the true ending that it happens it seems i guess they don't want you to, to play new game plus they want you to start a new character it's the only thing i can figure i complained about it though of course, a lot of game companies are this way. You complain, you don't hear a thing. But, like I said uh, in the beginning of the, the first job here, apparently they listen to my complaints about not being able to use stuff we had unlocked. Speaking of which, yep. okay. Yeah, I've got all that. Hey. They've added some things. I don't know what the difference is. Okay, how do we change? Um... I don't know. Uh, all right. I I don't know if we. Oh man, I like that. Oh, that is cool. I own all of those. Okay. All right, now, how do I... Let's go for the Alice. Go for Alice. So we can't change it here. 
I guess we can't change it to the look of it. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can't figure that out. We're still trying to clean the ceiling. I guess at this point we need to go for the trim. The ceiling is done, but the, the tree is not. So I guess that's... There's just certain parts of it. Oh no, I'm falling up. Oh, we got that one too, so let's go ahead and start with what's up here then. In their eyes, Alice is a monster. Poor girl just trying to get home. This is going to be a tough thing to finish. The only thing is, at the end of this DLC, we better get to butter whacking and figure to sleep. <laughs> I tell you, that was, that was so good where he done that. Hit my nose, y'all. That did not feel good. That actually kind of hurt. <laughs> All righty. Let's make sure that I can be heard, though. I got to make sure I project a little bit more with this thing on. Uh, but I've got so much air going that I have to have it, or I do hear a hiss from it slightly. So...
Is the bedroom done? I feel like there's something up here not done. Writing desk. I've seen it. Alright, let's try to get this. Central tree. Got it. Nice. The one thing probably is this on the back side. It counts. Yep. Go. Man, that looks so different. That looks really good. <laughs> I like that. That is really cool. I love the colors in this one. Usually after about two to three hours of this game, my hand is starting to go numb. Uh, today it's not, thankfully, but so far it's not. We might do one more today and then finish up the other two later. Uh, but I will be, I will change up to another game here soon. noticing something very weird though and i i read something about this on steam that some games the hunter called wild being one are trying to generate more frames than they should and due to this, that they actually will cause your PC to overheat. And it very well could be that that's what's going on with my PC. Uh, so I am going to attempt to do what it says to cap my frames. Uh, I can, I think that one can do 145 frames per second, but for recording and stuff, I can only do 60, so I'm going to cap it at 60, uh, maybe like 65 at the most, and it said that Call of the Wild will sometimes try to produce 
like depending on your your graphics card stuff that it can try to produce like a thousand and I, I believe the the counter I used to use that counted how many frames it was trying to produce at one time it was 700 or something like that on one time so I mean it's it's definitely possible that that's got something to do with it and I'm gonna fix it if I can so but it, it tells how to cap your how to cap your um, frames based on your monitors when I change my stuff out though uh, I'm gonna switch monitors and the other one's gonna be my new gaming monitor because it does have 100 44 frames per second. It can. I think you would probably set it 120. It can do 144 per second. I, I think it's an AOC monitor. I don't know. I know it's 144 hertz, and the hertz should equal the frames per second if you do as well. And I have, I have set it up, and it says 144 on one of my games. So, I mean, I have played on there. So. All right, well. She'll take you upstairs. Hopefully, we'll get you up here. Lock wall is clean. Armchair is clean. I'm not seeing anything at all pop up over there, so. Ceiling is clean. That trim is clean. All right, this is getting annoying here. <laughs> Kitchen tree is clean. See if we can't get the four decent. All 
All right, the floor is clean, so let's... Oh, I missed this. So if we play this next week, it will be on Thursday, I think. That's the days that we'll have set aside for this. I've been playing Call of the Wild so much. I know I I needed a little bit of a, a break from it, but we'll see how much of a break that is. <laughs> have a fill in some of this. This is actually taking less time than the other one to clean. You know that's usually how it goes. The second one is the shortest, and then the third one is the longest. All right. Well... How in the heck am I supposed to get up to that? Man, there we go. All righty. That was fun. I enjoyed that one. The, the stained glass really made that one pop. I loved that. All right, there we go.